Hi there, it's Annie from the Youth Room at the BB Library, and I'm so glad that you could join me for another virtual story time. We'll enjoy a couple of stories together, we will sing some songs together, and we'll also do a craft. Now today, I'm thinking about a certain kind of barnyard animal, and maybe you can guess the animal that I'm thinking of. I'll give you a couple hints. This animal has lots of feathers. This animal has a beak. And this animal likes to say cluck, 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 or bok, bok, bok. Do you know which animal I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of a chicken. Today, I wanted to share a couple of my favorite silly chicken stories with you. The first one that I wanted to share with you today is called Chicken Dance. And Chicken Dance was written by Tammy Sauer, and the drawings were done by Dan Sandhat. And after Chicken Dance, I also wanted to share with you, very appropriate for today's chicken-themed story time, this is a book called Chicken Story Time. <laughs> And Chicken Story Time was written by Sandy Asher, and the drawings were done by Mark Fearing. So, since we're reading these two stories about chickens, what kind of a craft do you think we should make today? Hmm, I bet we could make a chicken craft. And I have just the craft for us. This one uses just a paper plate and a little bit of construction paper and a marker. And with just that, we are going to make our own chickens. And we're gonna make these just out of paper plates. So we're gonna need a couple materials to make our paper plate chickens. First, you might have guessed, we're gonna need a paper plate for the paper plate chickens, of course. We are also going to need some construction paper. I picked the colors yellow and red, and I did yellow for my chickens little feed and beak and a little red for this gobbler here. But you can also pick any color that you want. You can get nice and creative with your chicken. And a couple of last things we're gonna need. We will need a pair of scissors. You will need a marker. You can also use crayons or colored pencils for this. And last but not least, we're gonna need a little bit of tape for this. You can use glue as well. And we'll make our own chickens after we enjoy a couple of very silly stories about some chickens. But before we jump in and start reading our stories, how about we sing our hello song together? And for this song, Hello Friends, we're going to use a little bit of American Sign Language to help us sing this. So I'll show you the different signs, and then we'll sing our song together. So for Hello Friends, the first sign we need is hello. And I'm just gonna take my hand and give a little salute. Hello. Friends, I'm gonna take my two pointer fingers and tap them on each other and just turn my hands like this. Criss, cross, friends. It's time, I'm gonna to point to my wrist for time, give it a little tap. To say, I point to my lips for say, hello, and I do my salute again. Ready to sing? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Great job. Now, since we've said hello to each other, how about now we wake our bodies up a little bit? And let's start by waking up our hands, and we'll do a couple of claps, and then we'll wake up a couple different body parts, too. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 we wake up our elbows with a flap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our toes with a tap, 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 tap. We wake up our toes with a tap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Let's get all of our wiggles out ready. One big wiggle, ready? <gasps> Well, I am feeling nice and awake now, 
And I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready for our first story today. So let's start off with chicken dance. Have you ever seen a chicken dance before? I don't think I've ever seen one dancing. So let's see what we can find in this story. And the words of this story, Chicken Dance, were written by Tammy Sauer, and the illustrations were done by Dan Sandhat. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a poster on a barnyard. Let's see what this poster says. Tonight, barnyard talent show. Grand prize, tickets to Elvis Poultry in concert. The final doodle do. So we have a talent show coming up. And do you see anything else in this picture? I see two shadows. Do you see the shadows? One, two. Hmm. Whose shadows are those? Let's find out. <gasps> One, two. Two chickens. Marge and Lola took one look at the poster on the barn door and almost lost their cluck. Elvis Poultry was top bird. They had to win those tickets. The ducks paraded by. Don't bother, drumsticks. Ducks win every year. All a chicken can do is balk, flap, and shake. Marge and Lola ignored the quackers and tested out their talents. Let's see, what kind of talents do we think Marge and Lola have? Bowling was out. So is juggling. And tightrope walking. These aren't very safe activities for chickens, are they? We could try flying. Marge said. Lola grinned. Flying chickens? Now that's a talent. The chickens scrambled to the top of the coop. They jumped. They fluttered. And let's see what happens next. They sank in hay up to their waddles. The ducks flew by. Bail out, chickens they called down below. <sighs> well, flying won't work, what else can they try? Barge and Lola dusted themselves off and shook hay from their feathers. Now what? asked Lola. We could try swimming, said Marge. Lola nodded. Swimming chickens? Now that's a talent. The chickens tottered to the pond. They jumped, they fluttered, and they totally sank. The ducks swam by. Get some floaties, chickens. Well, that didn't work out at all. Hmm. Marge and Lola waded ashore and spit water from their beaks. Any other big ideas, said Lola. Marge stared at the setting sun. Too late. It's showtime. We'll have to wing it. The chickens bumbled to the barn, found their seats, and settled in for the show. The goats ate a tractor and scored a seven. Not bad, said Marge. The pigs formed a pyramid and scored an eight. Hmm, I've seen better, said Lola. Let's see what other talents these animals have. The cows jumped over the moon. That's old, said Lola. We can still win this thing. Suddenly, trumpets sounded. What could that be? What, what's gonna happen next? We saw goats, pigs, cows. What animal 
animal do you think we'll see next? The crowd gasped. <gasps> the ducks grabbed their boards and hit the water. What are those ducks doing? Looks like they're surfing. They scored a nine. The barnyard went wild. Woo! Smirking at the chickens, the ducks flounced back to their seats. We're on, said Marge. We're doomed, said Lola. The chickens shuffled on stage. They blinked at the crowd and they gulped. What are they gonna do? Hmm, let's see. What's the matter, yelled a duck. Are you chicken? This put the chickens in a foul mood. They balked, they flapped, they shook. More, 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 the crowd chanted. Marge and Lola looked at each other. But we're just doing regular chicken stuff, Marge whispered. Regular chicken stuff? Now that's a talent. Lola grabbed a mic. Let's balk and roll. The chickens balked and flapped and shook all over the stage. Look at those chickens dancing away. They scored. Well, let's see, the ducks got a nine. Do you think they can get a higher number than a nine? Let's see. An 8.5. Almost a nine, but not quite. Losers, the ducks called as they plucked the tickets from the prize table. Ducks rule. Hmm. Well, now what? Marge and Lola gazed at the tickets and wiped their eyes. Then, from the top of the barn, a voice crooned, You chicks rocked! A rooster swooped to the stage. You had me all shook up. Who could that be? Elvis Poultry was in the building. Elvis smoothed his crest. I could use an act like yours. Before Marge and Lola could say a word, duck feathers flew. The ducks lunged at the chickens when... Thunk, thunk, thunk. The cows came home scoring a perfect 10. The next day, a new poster was tacked on every barn in the countryside. Let's see what this poster says. Elvis Poultry and the Chicken Dancers. On stage live, Marge, Lola, the big ba -ba -ba! 50 barns in 50 days, coming to a farm near you. So that was a pretty wild barnyard, huh? <laughs> Lots of different activities going on there with all of those animals. So before we read our next story, I need to get some of my wiggles out. Do you wanna get some wiggles out with me? I'm gonna start by wiggling my fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers? Now, what about your toes? Can you wiggle your toes a little bit? And let's see, how about your shoulders? Can you give your shoulders a little wiggle? wiggle with those shoulders. And what about your nose? This one's a little bit harder. Can you wiggle your nose? Let's try putting them all together. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Phew. Now all the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as still can be.
let's do our next story together. So this one is Chicken Story Time. And the words were written by Sandy Asher and the drawings were done by Mark Fearing. Let's see what this chicken story time is all about. Let's see, what do we have here? I see a chicken. And what's the chicken looking at? A sign. Let's see what this says. Public library. Story time at the library. Tales to tails. Don't forget to read to your dog. Hmm. Story time at the library. And let's see, who's, who's going to story time? I see lots of people, kids, parents, maybe aunts and uncles, grandparents. And who's that? A chicken? What do you think this chicken's doing at story time? One librarian, one story children and a chicken. The children like the chicken. The chicken likes the children. Let's begin, says the librarian. Everyone loves story time. One week later, story time at the library. And who do we see getting ready to go to story time? I see children and... Do you see some chickens? What do you think all these chickens are doing at the library? Let's find out. One librarian, one story, more children. More chickens. The children like the chickens. The chickens like the children. Please be seated, says the librarian. Everyone loves story time. One week later, story time at the library. And what's happening now? Look at all of those chickens. Do you think all of those chickens can go to story time? One librarian, one story, many children, many chickens. The children laugh. The chickens cluck. Settle down now, says the librarian. No one can hear her. Let's begin, she says. But are the children and chickens paying attention? I don't think so. I think they're making a lot of noise. Please be seated, she says. Settle down now, she says. Is anyone settling down? What's this librarian gonna do? Children and chickens everywhere, but only one librarian. What are we to do, she says. <gasps> and What's happened here? I think she might have an idea. Let's see. Story time at the library. Lots of children, flocks of chickens. So what's going on? Everyone's lining up for a book. Shelves and shelves of stories. The children like the chickens. 
The chickens like the children. Everyone loves story time. Especially the librarian. So everybody got to enjoy story time in the end together, right? <laughs> so those were some pretty silly chickens that we just read about. And I know a song about some other barnyard animals, including chickens. How about we sing Old MacDonald together? Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had a, a chicken, of course, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had a, who's this? A sheep. E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here moo, there moo, everywhere moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a... What other animals do we see on a farm? How about... A pig! E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a... What's another kind of bird that we see on the farm? How about a duck? E-I-E-I-O. With a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Look at all those animals on that farm. <laughs> well, I know another song about an animal on the farm, and this time it's not about chickens, <laughs> but it is about one of the, so the animals that we saw on Old MacDonald's farm. So maybe you can guess what it is. So we're going to use our hands and our arms and our voices to become a farm animal. So you'll want to listen to my words and follow along with my actions. And let's see if you can guess what animal we're going to turn into from the farm. This song is called Put Your Hands Up High. Ready? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. What animal did we become? Quack, quack, quack. A duck. <laughs> Let's try it again. Ready? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Do you think we can do that even faster? Let's give it a try. Ready? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Do you think we can try it even faster than that? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can do it. This is going to be speedy fast this time. Ready? <gasps> put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Great job. That was a really fast one. <laughs> now let's do another song where we can use our hands a little bit. How about we do 
roly-poly together. And I like this one because it lets me use my hands a little bit and it also helps me to practice my opposites. So let's do roly-poly together, ready? I'm gonna hold my hands like this and I'm gonna move them in a circle the way that I do for wheels on the bus for roly-poly. Ready? Let's sing. Roly poly, roly poly, big, 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 big. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, small, 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 small. Roly poly, roly poly, in, 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 in. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, out, 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 out. Roly, poly, roly, poly, tall, 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 tall. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, short, 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 short. Roly, poly, roly, poly, fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Ready? Let's go really fast now. <gasps> roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> Great job. Now, how about we sing one last song together and then we will do our paper plate chicken craft. And for our last song, we'll sing Goodbye Friends. Now, this is very similar to our opening song, Hello, Friends, but this time, instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye. And we'll use American Sign Language to help us sing this one as well. So I'll show you the different signs that we need for goodbye, friends. So the first song, sign we need is goodbye. And I'm just going to give my hand a little wave. Goodbye. Friends, we're going to take our two pointer fingers and give them a little tap on each other. Criss, cross. Friends, it's time. I'm going to tap my wrist for time to say. I point to my lips for say. Goodbye. And I give another little wave. Ready? Let's sing together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Great job. Well, thank you so much for singing with me. How about we go ahead and do a craft together now? So again, for today's craft, we are making some paper plate chickens. And to make these chickens, we are going to need a paper plate. We are going to need some construction paper. I chose red and yellow for my colors. We are going to need a marker. We're going to need a pair of scissors. And we're also going to need a little bit of tape. So let's get started to make our paper plate chickens. So the first thing that I'm going to do, you might notice the shape of the chicken's body. That's a half circle, but the plate, this is a whole circle. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this plate right in half to make my chicken's body. So I'm cutting just right down the middle of this plate here. We'll have to see when our chickens are made. Maybe they'll want to do a little dance. Or maybe they'll want to enjoy story time. <laughs> so now I have my half circle for my chicken. And I also have the other half of this. So I'm going to take my scissors again and I'm going to cut a triangle out of this side of my plate. And the triangle is going to be for my chicken's tail. So after I have the triangle, I'm also going to put a little wavy design. I decided to give my chicken a little tail like this. Once I have it, I'm going to go ahead and tape it on to whichever side you decide is going to be the back of your chicken. So I'm just going to get a little bit of tape and just hold 
this tail in place so my chicken can shake its tail feathers. So my chicken has a tail, but now I need to give it a beak and a little warbler and some feet too. So I'm gonna take my construction paper now. I'm gonna cut out a couple of different shapes. So I'm going to need a beak. And that's sort of a little triangle shape. So I'm gonna cut out a yellow triangle shape for the beak. And my chicken also needs two feet. So I decided to use triangles. And these are very similar to the tail feather. What's a triangle, but I did a little curvy design for my chicken's little toes. Then I am going to need my chicken's little warbler for underneath the beak. And my chicken's little head, little top of the chicken there. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape these right on to the chicken. So I'm gonna take my beak and I'm gonna put it right at the top there of that plate. And then I'm gonna use my handy tape and secure it in place. Now, let me put my chicken's feet in place. And I'm gonna tape those to the back of the plate there. Chicken has one foot, and now let me tape on the next one. Then I'm gonna tape on, put my beak and my feet. So now I'm gonna add a nice little warbler to my chicken. And I'm gonna tape that onto the back as well. I'm just gonna make sure that it sticks out a little bit in the front so you can see that. A warbler. And last but not least, I need to give my chicken just a little headpiece there. And I'm gonna tape this onto the back of the chicken as well. So it's a little tuft there is just peeking up over the plate. And I'll put a second piece of tape on there just to make it nice and secure. Almost done. Last but not least, I need to give my chicken some eyes and I'm gonna give my chicken a wing too with my marker here. I'm gonna tape it and I'm just using a black marker but you can really use any color that you want. My chicken just has black eyes here but you know, maybe you have a blue-eyed chicken or chicken with really fun colors. I've got my eye there. And let me just add my wing to this chicken. And there's my chicken's wing. And I sort of just gave it that sort of curly design um, that I did on the tail and the feet to match. And that's how you make a paper plate chicken. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me and my chickens for our very silly chicken story time today. I had a great time with you, and I hope that I will see you again next week for story time. See you later.